Hi everyone, Allison here from the Protocase team. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use our component library. Before I begin, one important thing to note. The component library is part of a new and improved library manager experience that's only available in Protocase Designer 5.3 or later. If you're using a previous version of Protocase Designer, you will need to visit protocasedesigner.com to download the latest release. So the Library Manager is Protocase Designer's repository for cutouts, graphics, hardware, fasteners, and the latest addition to the library, components. The Library Manager also contains your own personal library of cutouts, graphics, hardware, fastener, and components. You can view everything contained within the Library Manager in the 3D viewer. However, in order to be able to place any of the objects in the library, you'll need to be in the face editor. So that's where we're going to go. I've got my U-shape enclosure already started and want to place some components on the inside base of my enclosure. So I'm going to click Edit Face and select the inside base of my U-shape. Now that we're in the Face Editor, we need to go to the Library Manager. You can do this by either clicking Library in the top menu and then Open Library, or clicking Library under Tools on the left-hand side. You will see a small dialog box open that says Syncing Library. This is an important step for being able to access all of the components in the component library. Once the syncing process is complete, you will then see the Library Manager. Each tab of the Library Manager is for a specific category of objects. Cutouts, graphics, hardware, fasteners, and components. The final tab is called Personal, which is where you can save all of your personal objects. Clicking back on the Components tab, there are several categories of components listed. This is our initial repository of components that we've sourced, but stay tuned as we're going to be adding more components from suppliers as we receive them. In order to keep Protocase Designer light and speedy, we have stored all of these component step files on a separate server. Before you can place any of these components on your design, you first need to download them to your local copy of Protocase Designer by clicking the download button. Once the component has fully downloaded, the other buttons are going to be enabled. You can click place this item to place that component directly onto your design. You can export to file if you need to provide the component or cutout to another designer or colleague. Or you can opt to create a personal copy. This will save your own personal copy of the component into your personal library, which you can then place onto your design. When you place a component from the library, you'll be prompted to choose your mounting fasteners. This will be the exact same prompt that you would see when you're importing your own step file of a component in your design. Once I place the component on my design, the PEM Editor dialog window is going to open. I'll click on the fasteners button in the menu and choose the fasteners I need to mount the power supply. Once I've got the fasteners placed where I need them, I'll click the green check mark. Now the power supply I've chosen has the fasteners added to it. I can return to the 3D viewer to see the component with the fasteners. But what if you want to save a copy of the component with the fasteners you chose so that you can place it on other designs? That can be accomplished in one click. Let's go back to the face editor and click on the component with the fasteners. Once that grouped object is selected, you can see Add to Library button on the right hand side. Click this button. You can edit any of the properties, including adding a personalized name. This might be especially helpful if you have many components in your personal library. Once you click OK, the grouped component will be saved in your personal library. You can verify this by clicking Library in the top menu and going to the Personal tab. So if you were to place this item again from your personal library, it would place the grouped component which includes the fasteners you chose. Finally, another cool thing about Protocase Designer's Library Manager is that you can help contribute to it. You can choose to add any cutout, graphic, or component from your personal library to the public library. Simply click on the Add to Public Library button. From here, you'll need to select the applicable category and subcategory and then click Submit. Our team will moderate the submissions. Once it's cleared by our internal process, which will take about one to two business days, the cutout, graphic, or component that you've added to the public library will show up in the repository. Remember, you should only add items to the public library if you want them to be accessible to others. 
So proprietary items for your organization should be kept to your own personal library. This concludes our tutorial on how to use the library manager. If you have any questions or run into any issues, contact us. We're here to help. Check out the Protocase Designer Forum, which we've linked to below in the description, or email us at info at protocasedesigner.com. Thanks very much for watching, and happy designing!